Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be revamping the UI in the hunt on Roblox. This is the new Roblox event. I'm gonna be revamping this screen and possibly this. So let's get into Photoshop. So now I'm in Photoshop. This is what the current UI looks like. I do like it, but there are changes I won't make, which I'm going to try and make. So, I guess all that's left to do is get into it. So, first off, I'm just going to, I think per my approach to this, I'm going to make it a bit more simple, but make the colors a bit more vibrant, align everything a bit better. So, first off, I'm just going to make a frame across here with the shape tool, move that stroke and center it obviously it looks like it's slanted but it's not that's useful for us because it's harder to work with something that's slanted but i am going to do this effect behind it like they have i'm going to press ctrl j go to my layer that's underneath drag it out and rotate i'm then going to double click and choose a color More so, I'm going to do this just to check. I'm going to do that again. Draw J. And make it lighter. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm just going to get this again. I'm going to hide these. And it looks like we need some... Some holders for our items. I think of my words there. Um, I'm gonna go on layer select and use this again. Control J. I'm gonna make this a square. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm going going into this quite blind. For this video, so just gotta mess around and see what works. Okay, I think I'll keep it like this for now. Looks like they have five items on both. I think I'm going to center mine a bit more. So I'm going to get five. I'm just holding Alt and dragging to make a copy. And then I'm going to select them all with Shift and align it to the center. We now want to do the same for the non-paid items so i think they were gray i might try and make them blue we'll see how that looks yeah that looks okay now i'm just gonna group these so it's a bit more organized okay so next looks like we need this progress bar one two three four five so there are five sections here each one has a little counter on, like that. I'm going to move all of these up. Same with these. I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to use this to make my progress bar. So I'm just going to Alt, drag, and then Alt, shift. And then I'm going to come here and turn the corner radius all the way up. I'm just going to edit the bevel effect. Make it smaller. And I think I'll change the core. I'm just going to add another one on the outside. And add a stroke. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I just need to make this smaller. And we want to add some indicators for the progress you've made. So. I'm going to do that with just the pen tool. I'm going to change it to stroke and choose my outline color. I'm going to change this to four pixels. And I'm just going to draw a line. A bit too small. Okay. That works. So I'm just going to copy this. Control J. Control J again.
and now we can see where we're at. Maybe I'll bring this down. Looks like we're missing one. We want to make sure they're all the same distance. Okay. So now I've got lines, I'm just going to center them. I'm actually going to convert this to a small object and then bring it to the center. If it lets me. Okay. I'm just going to bring this here. And for this side, I'm going to double click on this circle and bring the corners back out. If I can. Because we don't want it to have a radius on the edge. Oh, looks like it's done for this side. Okay. Um, double click again. Double click. Let's see. Okay, it's worked that time. So now, as you see, we have solve a progress bar. I think I'm going to add the blue stroke to all of these as well. So I'm just going to come here and get this stroke. Let's have a look at what this is like. Okay, it's all right so far. Next thing we need to do, we have our progress bar. We need to connect each one to an item and add some indicators to how many points you need. Let's do that. I think this is connected to the lines. I don't know that I want to do that. We can try. That would mean we have to move these slightly. Hmm. Looks like we might need to stretch this out a bit more. This. And we need another line. Okay. Um, I'm just going to center this now. I'm going to select all of this. I need this too. And I'm going to center. Now we just want to add some indicators. So this is what their icon looks like. I think we can quickly make something like this. Okay. So I'm going to convert that to a small object. Control C. I'm going to bring it up here. And scale it down. Something like this. Then we want the text tool. I'm going to make the text white. And as always, I think I'll use this font. So this one will be 0 out of 5. 0 out of 5. Okay, so actually on ours, we're going to make one of them unlocked. So let's say this is five out of five, and then we can add a check mark. So for that, I'm going to make one, do this. I'd say use the pen tool, get your color. I'm going to use green, make it stroke, turn the stroke up. And something like this. And then we can try add some effects to see if it works. Yeah, that looks okay. So let's see what's next. Okay, they do have gradients on this. We have gradients, ours is just a little more subtle. Um, we need a gold track button and a close button. So I'm going to add, I'm going to actually use this. I'm going to do this. Round it. Actually, I might not have it rounded since nothing else is. 
And then I'm just going to use this text and I'll change the color, of course. Center. Make it bigger. Unlock gold track. I'm going to change the color to white. And alt drag. Make it smaller. I might just put unlock track. So it fits a bit more within the UI. I'm then going to take the stroke from this and put it on here. And we can group this. See how it looks. It's okay. It's a bit out of place where it is right now. I do think I am going to round it. Just so it looks a bit more stylized. And we need to find a place to put this. What do we need? We need the Hunt logo. I'm just going to see if I can find this online. If I can't, I guess we'll have to make it. Okay, I did find the logo online. I'm just going to bring it to the top. Put it in the group. And make it smaller. Enter it. I might add a um, drop shadow. And the up. Turn it down. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is good so far. I'm going to turn the drop shadow on a bit. I think we just need to add a close button to this now. So I'm going to do this without the other one on so we can actually see it. anything else we could add some lock icons what else okay i'm gonna add the lock icons and then i'll add the items and then we'll be done so let me open this okay so now i've got the locked icons i'm just gonna add the items okay guys so this is the finished ui i've got all the items added Personally, I would rather this UI than the one in the official game. This is my opinion, obviously, and I guess I'm a bit biased because it is my UI design. But please let me know what you think in the comments. Which one would you prefer? And I'll see you in the next video.